a 2013 Huffington Post, let me emphasize that Huffington Post poll showed that 82% of Americans believe in equality of the sexes politically, socially, and economically. However, only 20% identified as feminists. And that's further broken down into 16% male and 23% female. Now, you have to realize that Huffington Post is one of the most biased, idiotic, liberal media outlets out there. So, that's saying something, okay? The fact that they would even put this out is saying something. Maybe they're... Maybe they weren't as bad in 2013. So all of you who think that feminism is rampant and that it's poisoning everyone's minds, that's not actually true. And there are a lot less feminists than you think. And most of the people who identify as feminists, they're not actual third wave feminists. They just don't know what third wave feminism is like and they don't know what they're identifying as. You're not identifying as you're not identifying as someone who believes in equality of the sexes, like I thought. Like my friends still think. They still call themselves feminists. I'm like, do you know what you're saying? <laughs> you triggerly puff. <laughs> and, um, so the majority of people who probably identified as feminists on there, they weren't, they weren't women who are like, I hate men. Like the feminists, the real feminists. No, there were probably just misguided women who just looked at the definition and were like, oh yeah, I guess I am a feminist. So, not to worry. We're safe. Temporarily. We can't let this movement take hold. I'm kidding, but for real, feminism, it's not, it's not as rampant as it seems because on the internet there are lots of Tumblr idiots, my wage gap feminists, <laughs> the patriarchy feminists. There's a lot of those on the internet, and it kind of misrepresents them as, like, being really prominent. Not to worry. <laughs>